I'm Pat McAfee, and this is my Natter Day story. When you're a rookie in the NFL, you're just trying to keep to yourself, especially when you're a kicker or a punter. I had just gotten drafted, and I knew nobody in the locker room. All I wanted to do was keep my damn head down and hopefully make this team. I'm sitting in my locker after a shower. I'm just going to get dressed and get the hell out of here. Right before my pants reach my hips, I hear a man behind me with a very recognizable southern accent. We'll call him the sheriff. Hey, Pat. I turn around. Holy hell, this guy knows my name. The boys and I are heading on a golf trip today. Would you like to come along? I say absolutely. Now, I've never golfed a day in my life. I don't have a clue how to golf. I didn't even have clubs at the time. But you never say no to the sheriff asking you to go on a boys golf trip. So I go over to the team's kicker. We'll call him the goat. The all-time leader in points in the history of football. I say, hey, goat, I hold your balls every once in a while. I need you to do me a solid. I don't have golf clubs, but I'm trying to go on this golf trip with the sheriff. He's a stand-up guy, that goat, so he gives me his clubs, $500, and tells me, whatever you win, we'll split. Perfect, I say. Fist bump, hug. Here we go. I meet up with the sheriff and the boys, and we head to French Lake, a little town in southern Indiana that has a casino and a couple of golf courses. It was very evident early on that I was not supposed to be there. I didn't even have golf balls. I had to ask the sheriff if I could have some of his. If you go down to that golf course right now, you could probably find a golf ball with a horseshoe, a PM, and an 18 on it because I scattered those things all around the m***ing estate. On the first tee box, I hit the ball one foot. One foot. I'm sure they were wondering, why is this punter here with us today? After the golf round, we head to a restaurant, pounded some beers, ate some food. I started telling stories of my college days in West Virginia. I had all pros laughing. The sheriff was cackling in the corner. I had earned my spot on this golf trip. After dinner and drinks, we head back to the hotel slash casino, and apparently word had gotten out in French Lake that the sheriff was in town. When we pulled up, there was a small crowd waiting outside. So I get out first, and as soon as I step foot on the ground, you can actually hear the crowd go, uh, who the f*** is that guy? I give a nice wave, how's it going? Walk on in. To get to your room, you had to go through the casino floor. While walking, I see a roulette table. And remember that in my left pocket was $500 from the goat. I get some chips and start to lay them down. A few on the number one, since that's my number that I'm going to wear. A few on the number four, since I'm playing with the goat's money. A few on the number two, since I was picked 222. A few on 33, just because it looks damn good. I was spreading my chips out across the entire roulette table. All of a sudden, I hear a buzz throughout the casino. The sheriff had just walked in. He walks through the casino and right up to the roulette table I'm at and gives me a good game right there on the right butt cheek. Oh, I say. Everyone's staring at me now. Who the f*** is this guy? I'm his caddy, I say. It's a bit crowded, so he decides to leave, but before he goes, he gives me another good game with a finger gun and a wink and says, how about that red 18? And then disappears up the escalator to his room. I turn around and I think to myself, well, that's the coolest damn thing I've seen in my entire life. Then I look at the dealer and say, hey, we have a problem here. Now I have to move all of my chips to the red 18. So I start picking them up off the one, off the two, off the four, off the 33. I have to lift up other people's chips, need mine here. Sorry, all of my chips that I had across the table, $100 worth were just sitting on the red 18 now. The rest of the table looks at each other and goes, we should probably do that too, huh? I have never seen anything like it. So they start moving all of their chips. Every single chip on the table was in one spot. It looked like the leaning tower of Pisa was sitting on that square. The dealer spins the little ball thing and I'm thinking to myself, if 18 hits right here, I'm gonna be a goddamn hero. Click, click, click. The ball spins around. It finally settles in whammy. Red 18. The entire place exploded. We're all cheersing our beers, high-fiving. I hugged a homeless-looking man with a beard and no teeth next to me. We had a grand old time. Grabbed all my chips, took them over to the cashier, and got my $3,500 and walked out. Epic day. The next morning, I head down to meet the boys for breakfast. 
The sheriff is already up, sitting there eating. I haven't seen him since the gun in the wink. I walk up to him. Hey, sheriff, you know when you smacked me on the butt, gave me the gun in a wink, and said, how about that red 18 that red 18 actually hit? Did you know that? He looks up from his hash browns and goes, yeah, then goes right back to eating. I ain't never been more amazed in my entire life. And that, my friends, was an Adderday. Oh.